everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, we have another embagging and as you can see, it is quite huge. So let's see. I'm pretty sure what this is. So we'll just go right through here and see if we can get it open without cutting anything. Let me just get it out of this wrinkle bag. All right. All right. Hang on. Let me get it together here. Because we got three separate categories here. We'll just start on the top. Now, this is kind of a mixed bag of tricks, guys. So, bear with me here. We will start. Hang on. With the small bag. Okay, so this is from, of course, I covered that up. DIY Digital Art. And let's see. Well, this is kind of open on the side, so we're just going to kind of help it along. Hopefully it'll all stay together and it's all packaged up. But it's a little bitty. Um, it's on. It goes on a keychain, and it's a beaded cross stitch. So let me see if I can just pull it out. Maybe this is going well, huh? There we go. I knew I could get it out of there. Comes. As you can see, it's got a little pattern, and there is a pattern. comes with fuzz to stuff it with, which is nice. comes with a nice little booklet. shows you how to do the beaded cross stitch and your pattern, because it's going to be on both sides. And then there are some other ones that they had. But we picked this, but it's in blue. So let's see what's in this little bag. It's so tiny. Let me set that aside. So you've got your canvas, and it's kind of a, it's that uh, plastic canvas, about 14 count-ish. I don't think it's any bigger than that. It doesn't say, you see, uh, the instructions are all in Chinese, as you can see. You can read Chinese, you're doing way better than me. But it doesn't say, you know, if it's 14 or 11. I know it's not 11 because it's too small. So I've never done a small, teeny tiny beaded cross stitch. So I thought this will be so cool. It has the fixture to make it into a keychain. It's real heavy. And there are mm, four needles in there. And move that aside. There are five colors of little bitty seed beads. So you have orange, yellow, blue, green, and then like an aqua blue to highlight the uh, whoops. Come back here, you little buddy. We're gonna need every one of those. And they're glass. I can tell they're heavy. So it'll be really substantial. And they all look like they're, let me show you again, they're kind of consistent. As far as I can tell, I won't know that until I start stitching. Isn't that cool? I've just never done one of these, and I've seen them. This is the only kind of cross stitch that they have. And they have corresponding thread. So when you use a purple one or a blue one, there's even some clear to probably sew it together. As you can see, <coughs> I guess you just leave an edge around all that because you can't cut it all the way flush and you can't bend it. And then you just use that um, invisible thread to throw it, show, throw it, sew it together. Holy cow. Words are hard today. So let me put this all back 
wait, I know what I'm going to do. We're going to put all this. So you have all that in the kit. To make that, you just do both sides and then, then just whip stitch it together. You don't want to cut real close because then you're going to cut where the threads are at. But it does have corresponding threads, so you use a corresponding thread to make the thing. It's awesome. I'm going to enjoy that little project. Been looking forward to getting one of these kits. You know, if I can't get the the big picture kits, you know, I want to try something small. Small is the key word. Okay, so let's put this all together here and just set that up in there. Then I got this diamond painting kit thing, and it's on leather. I've never seen that before, so let's take this out of the bag. I just thought it'd be different. And it's not very big. Let me put that up there. has a plastic over this. It's really super sticky. And it's just sticky where the, uh, I'll bring in, where the beads go. I don't know if you can tell that from there. So that's cool. And I don't, I'm not real clear on what I'm supposed to do with that after you do that. They had no instructions. They have a bag here. Let's see here. Maybe it just hangs. Never seen anything quite like this. It has these little grippers. And you can see that there is... Whoa! I don't want to lose it. Let me set it right there. There is a little space here, so you just set that there and hook the thing to it. But you kind of pinch it down so that it grabs the... um the leather and then it has this nice pretty chain that you hang it with and they have like I don't know is that alligator no that's not right it has little clips that you clip into these clips so it has something and it's real heavy so it's pretty substantial okay I just thought it was different and let me get it all together here. Comes with the toolkit with the diamond painting wax, a pin, and a boat to put your things in, and extra little plastic bags. So that's cool. And this has shiny beads. So I've never done a project that looked like that. Okay, they'll be crinkling. I'm trying to do it over here. I'm trying to find the edge. So I can pull that out. Do it down here so it doesn't make so much noise. Okay, let's open this up. You have some really pretty ones. These are special beads. And the bigger ones, these are going to go on the tail. Then you have colors over here. And they have numbers. Let me turn it over. So, you have silver ones, and you have some almost gold. It's kind of a pale yellow, and those are kind of a, well, maybe it show better, kind of a aquamarine and a pale amethyst. Then you have my beautiful blues, and some black ones. green. Then you have some round gold. Then you have some marquees. So this is tin. And then you have, ooh, look at those. Those are pretty. Ooh, those are gorgeous. And then this, so it has so 11 and 12 were these, and then, so there's 13 different 
drills that you put on there. And for the, there are no regular drills. They're all special drills. I'm just going to do this over here. Just so I don't lose it. But I wanted some little crafty type projects that perhaps maybe at Christmas I can work with the grandkids and they can make something. But that's going to be beautiful. And there's not too much to that. You know, with 12 little colors. It, there's, It's not a solid thing. Yeah, so we may have to start that. That's beautiful. And it could stay up year-round. So then, in the same category, I got these cute little... Christmas ornaments. Hang on. Let's get them out of their bag. Because my grandkids like diamond painting, and they're not so much into stitching quite yet. Um, we're working on it, but, you know, it's going to take a hot moment. Okay, so let me get these out of there. Get everything out of the bag. And move that crinkly thing over there. All right. So these are little ornaments. It comes with the gold thread to hang them with. Comes with a diamond painting pen and wax and a green boat. That's about basically all you need for these little kits. And there are one, two, three. I'm trying. We're trying. Three. There's only four. There's seven different uh, little ornaments. And you just put the little diamonds on there to decorate. And you decorate them on both sides. And I don't know if you can tell that. I don't think I can get my, my light where I want it. But the light will shine through them. Isn't that cool? And they're just real easy little things. Just beautiful. I thought the grandkids would love that. So, just because they don't have to mess too much, you know. They're such cute little things. And then they can hang them on the trees when we're done. We usually have a, a craft day in the middle of winter. Not in the middle of winter, right in the middle of Christmas vacation. I was going to pull this up and see. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, it's kind of sticky. Let me just pull it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They are very sticky, and it's just sticky where you need to put them. And these were not too expensive. There's just different patterns. You got the snowman, and it looks like Mr. and Mrs. Snowman, and another snowman. Let's see here. And then this little guy. So they're all snowmen. And they're the same on each side. He's so cute. And these kids were not expensive at all. Let me look. Oh, come on. I think it, it was $8.25 for this whole kit. With seven different ornaments that kids can make. Hang on. I'm trying to get the beads out. And there's no other instructions. Each one of these bags has a letter on it. I don't know. If I'll start here at this end. So there's U and H, T, I, V, A, Y, X, and there's two of these O's. So you must use them. And those all correspond with all the, the things here on the, the deal. So, yeah. So you got silvers and red. You got some darker gold than we had in that other kit. Dark green. Kind of a aquamarine blue. 
And I don't know, this is kind of an amber color. And they're all little round drills. You have black, and you even have a lighter aquamarine blue, and then kind of a turquoise blue. So there's lots of colors to pick from. But yeah, I just thought the grandkids would just get a real charge out of that. So we'll see. Grandma wants to do the peacock. But it's a project that they can do. It doesn't make a mess because we've been through messes. There are times, I mean, we've gotten out the paints and we had paint strung all over this front room. It was great. And glitter. Oh, don't forget the glitter. But that's something that they could do, you know, a little bit at a time. So that is it for the diamond painting stuff. I believe. And this store has a lot. I mean, they have a whole other section besides their diamond painting and cross stitch. They have tools for both. They do cross stitch in counted cross stitch, regular cross stitch, and of course you saw the little beaded projects. They even have embroidery. I was just, just flabbergasted at all the stuff that they have and they have lots of diamond painting crafts and uh, kind of cross stitch crafts then they have in their other section if you hit crafts there is just a huge huge section of all different kinds of crafts like if you wanted to do stuff with the uh, the foam you know that padded foam stuff or a uh, die cut stuff they have that they have knitting supplies and crochet supplies and they have electronics and this whole other section has anything anybody would ever need I mean man woman or child and they have all kinds of electronic stuff it, it's just it's a superstore just absolutely I never saw that when I went to go order these all I paid attention to really was the, the craft section, and I thought, oh, okay, well, maybe they got a couple things here. I hit that today, and it just was like, whoa. Yeah, it's just huge, ginormous other section. Even lighting for outside if you were going to give a party. It's amazing. And what else was I going to say? Um... They have embroidery on material and embroidery on that that gauze stuff. Yeah, it's it's amazing. So let's get into the stitching part, right? We like the stitching part. Okay, I'm gonna open this way over here. Another one of those handy dandy crinkly tags. Hang on, gotta put it up there somewhere. Okay. So the first kit I got comes with a tool kit, has a needle threader, a bobbin, a thimble, a poof ball with five needles in it, and a seam ripper. And the picture is not very big. I'm trying to... It says 120... It's an 11 count, so it's 126 by 126. It doesn't say here... And I will put insert a picture of what this looked like on the website. But it's got a great big, huge, what do you call it, chart. And all these in the key match the ones on the, on the uh, canvas. I couldn't think what I wanted to say. So this looks like about... 36 by 36, but I'm going to look here. Give me a second, Autumn. It's 35 by 35. It was only like $5, but it comes with all the threads, and they're all packaged very nicely, and this little tool kit. I mean, every once in a while, I'll, I'll need the extra needles because, you know, I'm not smart enough to go back to where I actually put them before. <laughs> yeah, Laura has a problem with that, and it's still on the same desk. But, yeah, I've, I've used it all. 
And if I can't find my needle threader, gotta go. I'm gonna open this up. This has one, 24 colors. I'm trying to get it out of there. You know. Let me put that up there. So it comes with extra hanks of. 3756, which is this number 22. It's going to be the background, so it has a nice cream background. I wanted something in autumn. I mean, all I have is that autumn house, so we needed something for autumn. Let's look at these colors. They're all nice and long. Look at those colors, all those beautiful autumn colors. And it looks like, you know, it's going to be able, you're going to be able to see what, you know, you're stitching. And it looked like something. I think it's going to be big enough is where I'm going with that. But, but yeah, just beautiful autumn colors. Nice soft thread. Lovely. And the, um, let me move that over there so I don't knock it off. The canvas is surged all the way around, which is nice. The key is nice and easy to read. Molly. I don't know what she's barking at. Who knows? And doesn't it looks a little what do you call it? Confettied? But the the uh symbols are real easy to read. I'll bring that up as far as I can. But yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. There's a nice big old punk in there. It's got a big bow and some leaves. It looks like berries or and another pumpkin. And lovely fall like oak leaves. And just little browns and reds in there. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright. I like that one. And it's not very big. And there's not a lot going on. You're going to be able to see the definition of these things, I'm hoping. I mean, as far as I can tell, because it's not terribly detailed. It looks like a uh, one of those wreaths out of, what is that stuff? Grapevine? Is that what that is? You know, where they interweave it together and then they make a, a, a wreath out of it? That's what that looks like. And I'll show you. There'll be a good picture of it. But everything looks good in this this one. For sure. Let me get everything put back together. Put that up there so it doesn't get lost. Now the next one is a Joy Sunday. And it's called Craft Village. And it has all these cute little kids. I guess they're all girls. Yeah, pretty much, I think. I don't, couldn't tell what, I guess that's a dress she's got on. But there's knitting needles and scissors and a sewing machine and thread over here and a little pin cushion and another pin cushion. Just cute little thing. And it is a 14 count. It's 61 by 19. It has the instructions. Let me back you out. Whoa. And then I bobbed it. Um. Instructions on the back of the bag. It's a resealable bag. It's got a little zip part right there. Real nice and easy to open. See what this looks like. There's the actual picture. It says Craft Village up here. I've never seen these before. Being a 14 count. Comes with a nice booklet. Looks like there's 27 colors. Nice, big, huge pattern so you can read it broken up into three parts I just love those sewing machines and singers they're to die for just to die for and so this is going to be skinny if I could just get it undone hang on let me get all the threads back out of the way but it just kind of goes along you don't have to do the background you just do the things it's just cute. And all the little kids. Nice 
key you can read you can see everything and there's only two colors that they use for the back stitching so I don't know where that goes but it's on your oh there's threads so that's it like the threads the needle see there's the thread running there so not everything has to be back stitched which is awesome 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 sauce okay so let's if I could just get it to come with me it keeps getting tangled not tangled just hung up on everything comes with two needles real thin needles for the 14 count look at those colors aren't they cute they're nice and bright and happy colors I just think that is the cutest pattern I've ever seen they had another one but I don't remember what they were doing but I'd never seen these patterns from Joy Sunday. But nice bright colors. Nice, soft, long. We know they're long because they keep dragging along there. Come on, kids. Everybody get together here. Work with me, kids. Work with me. But yeah. And it doesn't look real. There's nothing difficult about it, you know. You just so and there's not a lot of confetti or anything weird I like that part they have little thingies hanging but yeah there's only a little bit of back stitching in this I mean it's a little it's just outrageous for me but as you can see maybe like she's holding a pin and then some of these threads some are stitched and some aren't. But there's like a thread in the, the the sewing machine there that you have to do. And the rest is within the pattern. So that's pretty cool. I like that part. So yeah, I think this is a, a cutie. Let me try to get everything where to lay. So I can put that back in the bag but not at this second all right I am impressed so the next one I got it's a Christmas one I had to have a Christmas one right I love it it's so cute it's right up there with the skating pandas you know it's not very big hang on and it's called ballet rat like, can you make it sound any worse? But it's a little mouse. And he's skating. And he's all dressed up for Christmas. He's only 17 by 17. There's your pattern. Not too much back stitching. Just one page pattern. Oh, bag has everything on it, as usual. As per Joy Sunday. Oh, and I forgot to tell you on that last one, the long one, it was um, surged all the way around. I couldn't think of the word. I had the worst time with surged. But there's the picture. And you don't stitch the background. It's a 14 count. It has a little bitty thing. It has, i got to lay it down. It was in the light. 16 colors. And it just has, let me see, I believe there's, let me look, why am I killing myself here? It's a little small, back stitch and half stitch. So the half stitches are on the bottom right here. No big deal. So there's not much sewing to it. But I think I'm going to save this one and perhaps give it away during December. But I just thought it was just precious. And the back stitching you can see around the mouse. And little spiky parts, you know, to look like fur. That they're little fur muffs and little fur around their little hat. But yeah, it's just it's just too cute. It's just so small. Let's look at this. And it comes with two needles. And if I could just these long threads. I like the long threads, but damn. There's your colors. 
Aren't those pretty? Nice, bright, Christmassy and tan colors. Then you got a little bit of smoky gray, a little off white, like an ecru, and then a white white. Pretty. So there's a, not much to that, but it sure is cute. They have a bunch of these little bitty tiny things, and if you wanted to, you could probably stitch that on something else if you wanted to instead of on this and make it into a little ornament or just make it into a little pillow the way it is right there it's 70 by 70 but isn't that precious just absolutely precious well we'll fold that up real nice and move the plastic bag put it up here stay then I saved the biggest one for last yeah it's called winter house by joy sunday isn't that just to die for <laughs> i will show you a better look at that picture it is an 11 count and it's 86 by 61 i needed another winter picture because the only one i have is return for Return from Christmas or home from Christmas. Or, yeah. But this is just absolutely beautiful. If I could get it out of there. Hang on. We're getting there. We're making progress, folks. Sorry I didn't mean to jab. Jingle jangle it. But isn't that just stunning? Look at that house and little... Looks like candy cane poles and you got a tree that's all decorated here. <laughs> and a little sleigh filled with like pine boughs and a snowman. It just has everything. Has a beautiful. Now this kit, winter landscape, was $26. So it's not very big. Nice big chart. Here's all your colors. It has 53 colors and it only has. Full cross stitch and back stitch in two different colors. So I'm trying to look at this picture. Perhaps an accent here or there. If you're only using, let's see, 310. That usually tells me a few things, but I'm not seeing it. But nice big booklet. Huge. And it's so easy to read. That's what I love about Joy Sunday. They're. It's broken down into 15 parts. Just awesome. Yeah, there are a lot of colors there. Lots and lots and lots. So, let's see what we got in here. Oh, we got a few colors. A few colors. Comes with two needles. Lots of extra thread. This whole card right here is nothing trying to brighten it up a little bit but extra thread kind of a buff like a gray brown if you will a pale or br pale tan like blue for the sky and the snow just mm. let's start at the back here well that doesn't work so you have some bright yellows, some greens, blues, browns. We'll just go in this and then I'll switch it around. Red, salmon, just every color of the rainbow. Kind of a mauve colors. Just gorgeous. And then of course you saw this one. So let me turn it upside down and we'll go again. So you have the tans browns if I can get a hold of it to lay it down hmm lovely nice soft threads well this ain't working is it how come this works so well for other people that do openings we'll just do it this way you have whites creams blacks 
I think these are excess. What did I say there was? So there's 53 colors. This is the extra white and the extra 310. There's even pale yellow and gold. Look at that turquoise. Mm. Lovely. And reds and dark cranberry. And in a bright red, like I call that Christmas red. You got Christmas green over here to match. Tans and browns, just lovely. Look at that blue. For that's probably for the the shadowing in the snow. God, this thing is just mmm. Hardly wait to see what that canvas looks like. Holy cow. Hopefully it won't be so horrible. You know, like confettied. So I'm gonna have to move it. I don't know that I can open it all the way, but we'll do our best. Big key. I mean, that is the biggest key I've ever seen. Look at that. Just absolutely gorgeous. Whoa. No, 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 no. Hang on, guys. I have to shift. So we'll start here at the top. It has a nice border around it. And I guess you just... Look. Where did that picture go? So this background here, this is all open. You don't stitch that background. But you stitch this border that goes all the way... Eh, partially on the bottom. See where it comes here? And then this is all out. So the frame looks like so. But yeah, all that is left open. So it's a partial. And then you have a big space down here on the whole thing. But hang on. i got to lay that up there. It doesn't look too confetti You know, there might be a few spaces. But not really. The most confetti part of the whole thing is going to be that tree. Let me just grab this. That has the ornaments in it. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. So let me show you that section. Hang on. I'm trying to get there. It's kind of wide and I won't be able to. It's 329 by 219 high. So it's 86 by 60. I'm going to say it's probably. 75 by 50. I'm the picture. Hang on. Where is my hold it? I don't, I can't do the whole thing, but this way up and down the, the picture itself is. I'm trying to figure out how far I got to come down. Uh, let's call it nine and a half, 19 and a half. So it's like 49 and a half picture. Let me see. One way. And the rest. I'll try. It's not going to be completely flat. It is 28. So it's about 71 and a half. So you lose 10 inches. There's probably... Let's see, two and a half, almost three inches, one side, yeah, and about three inches on the other. The bottom only has about two, but it's huge. It's ginormous. The actual canvas is 23 and a quarter, which is 59 and a half. And like I said, it's not, I'm trying to lay my thing down as far as I can. It's right there. So it's 59 and a half. And it said it's 61. That's the whole, hang on, the whole canvas, whole canvas, whole canvas, whole canvas. 
is about 80, 86, between 86 and 87 and a half. So it's huge. But I like how they put that in a blue frame. Wouldn't that look gorgeous? You know, it just pick up all those colors. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Loving that. Yeah. Love this. And it's Joy Sunday. And it's surged all the way around the edge before I forget. Tells you to use three strands. Yeah. It's gorgeous. So now I will. I'm going to put this. Let me fold this first. That's one big whopping canvas. I'm telling you. Let me get it where it needs to be. Holy cow. Talk about a wrestling match. But yeah, I don't wanted to see. No, I'm not seeing where this stupid back stitching is at all. It's like, come on. I don't see anything back stitching. Usually it just shines out. Oh, there's birds and a star up in the tree that I didn't even see. Oh, these birds. There's two birds up there. But if that's all the backstitching you got to do, I'd go for broke. I mean, tell you. It was like, yep, we're done. Cool. It's, I don't see it anywhere in this pattern. Unless it's just some little detail that just needs to come out. But it's not like you have to go backstitching around the whole house or anything. It's awesome. Yeah, it's got less backstitching in it than Return from Christmas. Because it's a nightmare. Let's see, what else can I tell you about this? They um, have lots of, I told you, um, what do you call it? Cross-stitch crafts. You know, like your clock faces that I'd gotten from another store. But they still don't come with the movement. Um, they even have, uh, what do you call it? Plastic canvas where you make the tissue boxes out of the plastic canvas. Do you remember that? 500 years ago. They still have that. They have gauze embroidery and they have regular embroidery. I'll call it on whatever fabric that comes on because I haven't had that in 30 years. I don't know what it comes. I should buy one at those kits, you know, because I don't know how it comes anymore, but just on regular stitching cloth. Yeah. Embroidery. Uh, let's see. I was really surprised that they had the, the tissue boxes still that you can make. So those are kind of cool and beaded, but I was just really flabbergasted. This is a list of everything that's in their other category. I mean, you could do basically any craft. And they also have, like, pieces and parts for, like, sewing machines and, like, woodworking tools and woodworking, like, accessories to put, like, on a wood lathe or something like that. So they have, And they have regular tools. It, it's just... This tour is amazing. It was like, wow. Holy cow. And I just touched on just this much of it, you know, getting the cross stitch and the diamond painting stuff. So yeah, we're going to just do this video and I'll put this video out and then I will have a video separate from this one today that I will be doing one of these crafts that I got. So it'll probably be a diamond painting thing and just something small because that way I can complete it within the, the time of the video. Does that make sense? So, but yeah, I like these little things. They are so cute. Just too cute. And I think that the grandkids are going to get an absolute kick out of them. They always like projects. And this is so much easier to do than Remember paint by number? It was like every Christmas, all you got was paint by number. Now, I don't know that this place has paint by number or not, but they also have um, custom 
stuff. You know, like if you wanted a custom diamond painting or a custom cross stitch. So I'll have to try that sometime too. But yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And these are really sticky. Really sticky. And they're so bright. Yep, I think they're going to get a kick out of that. So we'll have plenty of projects for them to keep them busy during Christmas. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me today. I will leave all the links for everything that I got in the description below and the link to the store, as usual. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.